I think that jail should be an automatic if you kill somebody. It sounds like common sense to the state representative, but that is not the case in Wisconsin. That became clear after TMJ4 learned the driver, sources say, caused a deadly hit and run earlier this week, hit and killed someone before. The issue caught the attention of state representative Lakeisha Myers. She's calling on the governor to hold a special session to address reckless driving. Our Jenna Ray caught up with her today and breaks down what currently happens to drivers who kill someone behind the wheel. What's just your thoughts, you know, now that we're in the car on Tetonia of being over here where this happened? You, you think about, again, all of these apartment buildings, people live in this area. This is a highly compacted area of folks that live and would work and walk to these um, places over here. So there's bound to be a lot of people. Why would you, you know, speed in such a way that, knowing that there's a lot of people in this concentrated area. It's a question State Representative Lakeisha Myers and I talked about as we drove through Milwaukee's north side Thursday. I will be the first to say that I think driving has gotten worse. Speed is thought to be a factor in the death of four-year-old Zakani Himes, who was killed by a runaway driver while crossing the street with her mom. This is a wake-up call to politicians. It's a wake-up call to the district attorney. It's a wake-up call to judges that we have to be more vigilant now more than ever to do this in Zakani's memory. The man in custody for Zakani's death, who we're not naming because he hasn't been charged, has done this before. Court documents show the man pleaded guilty in 2019 to driving without a license, causing death. He was supposed to serve 10 months in jail, complete community service, and pay restitution. What is your reaction to that, what seems to be little of a penalty for killing someone? Exactly. I think that that's ridiculous. I would think that if you killed someone, it would be the statute would automatically have you, first of all, imprisoned. And then for the fine to be, it shouldn't be up to 10,000. That should be a minimum. Right now, if you're driving a car without a license and kill someone, the highest penalty you can receive in Wisconsin is up to a year in jail and some fines. I am of the mindset that we need to revisit these statutes and look at them in earnest and make changes. Myers is now asking Governor Tony Evers to call a special legislature session to address reckless driving immediately. You know, I look at this memorial and I think to myself, don't let this child's death be in vain to me. In Milwaukee, Jenna Ray, TMJ4 News.